Now before I begin, I first want to say, if you are using any kind of UV light source of this caliber, please protect yourself. You don't want to be looking at this thing. It's quite dangerous. I strongly suggest to get proper eye gear when using this type of light. Of course, something much better than this, but I think you know what I mean. In June of this year, I presented a video on cyanotype and ultraviolet light. This was the light that I had purchased, which proved not to work with the cyanotype process. And at that time, I did not understand why it was not working and only discovered why once I started to do research on ultraviolet light. The wavelength of this particular light is 395 to 400 and as I also shared in the video on cyanotype and ultraviolet light, a wavelength of 365 is ideal for the cyanotype process. After realizing this, I have been trying to find a light bank similar to the one I had purchased, but with the right wavelength. Having no luck, I then decided to try a flashlight version. Even though I was quite skeptical on the idea, I figured it just might work considering that I am working with the cyanotype process in camera. Perhaps the flashlight might just work out right. With all the research I have done on ultraviolet light, as soon as I turned on this flashlight, I knew in a second that it wouldn't work. Now, I'm a person that even though I might have a strong feeling that something might not work out, I do it anyway, because I have proven myself to be wrong in thinking so. But in this case, I was 100% sure that it wouldn't work. Here I got a regular LED flashlight, and here I have the UV light flashlight. Here is the flashlight turned on and here is the UV LED flashlight turned on. Here they are together and how I have a very strong feeling that it's not going to work is because comparing the two, we can see that the flashlight is brighter, but this UV LED light of 365 is not that far behind. This is where I knew this light was not going to work. You're probably wondering why I would even consider using a flashlight due to the difficulty of trying to find the right light source. I had to start to think what else could there be as a replacement for what I really needed and wanted. I am now going to fast forward to last week. Last week I did another product search on Amazon and I found something and this is what I found. This is a similar light bank to the previous one that I had purchased and it states that it has a wavelength of 365. exactly what I have been looking for. Now here we can see a really big difference between the two. 
I have to say I like the design of this new UV light bank. I like the fact that it is not as bulky as the previous light and I also like the fact that it has the on and off switch within the extension cord than on the light bank itself. From reading the little leaflet with instructions of use, in one of the features it indicates that this light source is not dangerous to the skin or to the eyes, which is a huge, huge bonus. But even still, I'm going to take my precautions. Of course, I'm not going to look dead straight into this light, but, you know. This light comes with a two-year warranty, which is pretty cool, too. So this is the new Cyanotype update. Hopefully within the next few weeks I will have more to share with you on this project that I've been working on for a little while now. So till next time.